I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a sculpture. We're going to draw first and then I'll explain what we just did. We're going to start way up here at the top and just put a dot. And from that dot, we're going to draw straight line, straight line, straight line, straight line, connect. Right at this point, we're going to draw a straight diagonal out, straight line across, straight diagonal down, connect. Come to this point, draw a straight line down, straight diagonal, connect. This is our first cube. All right, we're going to come right here midpoint and we're going to draw a straight line, straight line over, straight line up, straight line over, and connect. Right at this point, we're going to draw a straight line out, straight diagonal down, and connect. Right at this point, we draw a straight line down, straight diagonal down and connect. We come back over here and we're going to draw a straight line out, straight line down, straight line over, straight line up, connect. Come down here at the bottom, we're going to draw a straight diagonal up, straight line up, connect. Come over here to this point. We're just going to draw a straight diagonal up, over, connect. Now we come midpoint again. Straight line down, straight line over, straight line up, straight line in, connect. Right at this point we draw a straight diagonal out, straight diagonal down, connect. Come right here, draw a straight line down, straight diagonal, and connect. Right about here, midpoint, we're going to draw a straight line down, straight line over, straight line up, connect. Come down to this point, draw a straight diagonal up, straight line up, straight line over, and connect. Right here at the bottom, we're going to draw a straight line out, straight line down, straight line over, straight line up, connect. Starting at the bottom, we draw a straight diagonal up, straight line up, connect. Come over to this point. We're going to draw a straight diagonal, straight line, connect. Now, because we don't want this to look like it's floating in outer space, we do what we call horizon lines. Midpoint to the left, straight line off the page, Jump over, don't draw through your drawing. Straight line off the page. All right, what did we just do? We drew a series of cubes that are two-dimensional because they're a drawing, but because of the way we drew them, three-dimensionally, it represents a sculpture. Okay, let's see how we're gonna color this in. Okay, I'm going to use purple starting on this plane of my cube and I'm going to color this space all the way down purple so that you can get an idea on your eyeballs of what you just drawn. So this space face is this face on this cube and this face is this face on that cube. So we're going to work our way down using purple as our unifying color and also to make this more of a sculpture form. This face is this face on this cube. Color it in. This face is this face on this cube. And this face is this face on this cube. So we're making these all purple as our unifying color. 
Now this is a two-dimensional drawing of a three-dimensional sculpture. And a sculpture is an artistic form. Sometimes you can walk around it. Sometimes you can pick it up and hold it if it's small enough. You make it through shaping, carving, and putting different materials together. All right, now we're going to color in the rest of the faces of our two-dimensional cubes in order to make it into a three-dimensional sculpture. So my first face on the top and on the side, I'm going to do yellow. Now, you can all make your own color choices. These are the ones I made. Next, I'm going to do this face and this face pink. Okay? So that I know these faces go to this cube. Next, I'm going to do green so that I can see this is the top part of my cube. This is the face side face of my cube all the way down and over and once you put the color on it's a little bit easier for you to see what you have drawn next I'm going to do orange and it took me a while to figure out how to draw this so it might take you a while to do the same next I'm going to use red for this face. You'll do a better job than me coloring in. And the last one, I'm going to use blue. And what was interesting is, is that when I started to try drawing this, I started with the bottom cube and I couldn't do it. So I started on top and did the top cube first and then I didn't have a problem. So. Sometimes you got to experiment with the way you're drawing something. And that is okay. That's part of being an artist. Okay, so here are my cubes. All colored in. With my horizon line so that you can see it sitting on the floor of something. Alright, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here are my cubes all colored in. It's a two-dimensional drawing of a three-dimensional work of art. So think of this as a statue in art. Imagine a little person being able to walk all the way around. Okay, bye-bye.